Well, good morning. Today I thought I'd do a little bit of a video about seasonal camping in a pop-up trailer. So seasonal camping meaning Still deal with her there. I guess so. So seasonal camping meaning um, setting up uh, your trailer at a campsite in the spring and leaving it set up until uh, fall comes. And that's exactly what we've done this year. We set up, uh, I think it was the 2nd of June on the bank of uh, the St. Lawrence River here. And today is October the 9th, so we've been set up here for four and a half months in our pop-up trailer and sleeping in the trailer and cooking. Cooking's been actually entirely outside on our, uh, we've got two tables. We've got a picnic table and a kitchen table. Uh, we've got solar for electricity. We've got uh, porta potty but then there's also uh, campground washrooms. This is a publicly owned uh, camp, campground owned by the uh, province of Ontario. Um, so I thought I'd do some tours and take a look, little look at uh, what we've done uh, with, uh, with our trailer over the season. Okay, and kind of central to our uh, entertainment uh, evenings and mornings is our fire pit. And we have fires uh, often, not every day. Uh, but uh, at any rate, there's our fire pit. We've got the uh, two kids' chairs, we've got the two adults' chairs, and then also not seen in the clip is we have bench seating on our uh, picnic table, which is also by the fire. Okay, you can see the fall colors behind the fire pit there. All right, our cooking facilities. Um, so we, we do all our cooking on this table. The reason this is our cooking table is because we have a rain awning for when it's raining we don't we don't leave the awning out when it's not raining because the wind can catch it and damage it so we just put it out for rain uh, we've been really lucky there's been very little rain uh while we've been camping this year at any rate from left to right we have a three burner propane stove um and we use that when we have propane sometimes we uh, run out of propane so on the far right we have an alcohol stove uh, which is good for boiling water and that sort of thing and you can cook on it as well So we use both propane or alcohol depending on whether we have propane or not um, And you know, we, sometimes you have to go fill up your propane uh, In the middle there you have a 14 inch cast iron Dutch oven So we do a lot of cooking over top of the fire both uh, in the Dutch oven and we also use a grill uh, Coffee is uh, percolated or instant coffee um, so we make that pretty well every morning. Sometimes we run to Tim Hortons. It's only uh, only about a five kilometer drive to Tim Hortons or something. So sometimes we'll run and get coffee there. Um, so yeah, alcohol stove, three burner propane, uh, Dutch oven. We also have a hibachi charcoal barbecue, which we don't really use very much because we do a lot of cooking over the open fire. So if we need to grill something, more often than not, it's over uh, it's over the fire, not over uh, not on the barbecue. I thought I'd give a little tour of the pop-up. So, uh, you know what, we're dealing with the trailers in 1999 and we're in 2021. So it's an older trailer, but it's in good shape. Uh, we towed it here behind our van. So basically there's a couch, uh, I guess you would call this actually the right side cause we're looking backwards. Okay, so there's a couch and that actually pulls out into kind of a, not quite a double bed, but a, a bed. It pulls out into a bed or we use it as a couch because we don't need an extra bed. Uh, the folded air mattress on the floor, that's the dog's bed. There's the fridge down there. Now we don't have the electricity to run the fridge because uh, cause we're on solar and we don't have enough solar for that. So we're just, we, we do use it for drink storage though. Uh, that's our stove, so that can be used indoor or outdoor. I showed that outdoors earlier. Uh, this is where it stores inside and can be used inside, or that can just be counter space. LED rate reading lamp behind that, and the sink. And to give you an idea of the beds, okay, this is one of the bunk ends, you know, double bed or whatever. Uh, that's open right now. That can be closed for cold nights. 
okay so that's it and you'll notice we've got lights hanging everywhere we do have a 12 volt system but lights with batteries are just easy oh and uh propane furnace down there okay uh, we haven't used that and we're in october in canada so and it hasn't been necessary yet and now we're uh standing uh at the back of the trailer looking forward you can see there's an end table with storage. Oh, I don't think that I showed storage under the couch, but there's storage under the couch. There's a four-person uh, dinette with uh, seating for four and kind of a couch or settee type arrangement. The uh, backrest for that uh, bed over there, it's on that bung end right there. The uh, backrest for that couch we have, it's over on one of the bunk ends right now. And then this is the other bed on the other end. Uh, see, both have privacy curtains. Um, so this uh, bed, this is a queen size bed, this one. So double on one end, queen on the other. The dinette does fold down into uh, a double bed if you wanted it to, although we haven't. Double bed at the far bunk end with privacy curtains and this couch pulls out. So that could be sleeping for two three, five, seven, seven, but we only use it for four, two adults and two kids, and it's a good size for that. Okay, a quick look at our solar system. So we've got two 60 watt folding solar panels and they are facing south and they are going into an 80 amp hour AGM battery and we are running a 500 watt uh, DeWalt inverter. So um, that gives us uh, lots of electricity for things like uh, cameras, uh, LED lights, um, tablets, cell phones. Uh, it is not enough electricity for um, the refrigeration. So we use a cooler um, and uh, refrigeration would be nice, but we don't have it. Okay, so trailer and uh, you can see our canoe there as well and the propane tank is behind the solar system all right there's our 500 watt um, Stanley inverter uh, so it's got two USBs and two uh, AC outlets uh, there's a charge controller uh, 8.5 amp charge controller between the two solar panels the battery and the battery okay so that's inverter power inverter uh, yeah, two USBs and two AC outlets. Okay, and our me main means of uh, water transport is our Grumman canoe, 17 foot canoe. So the whole family, four of us plus the dog can ride in that canoe. Uh, at the height of summer, we had three kayaks, the canoe and our Hobie Cat sailboat. But by far the boat we use the most is the canoe. Uh, we keep it on a hand cart uh, just to make it, launching it easier. It is a heavier boat, probably 85 pounds. Uh, so we, we use the hand cart, although I could carry it. That's the boat launch right down there. So uh, launching is really easy for us. Even when, even with the sailboat, the Hobie Cat, uh, you know, it's just right there. Okay, so Grumman 17, it's got uh, front seat center bench seat with some extra flotation underneath it because we find if you capsize this canoe uh, it uh, it doesn't float very high so it's easier to self-rescue with the extra bit of flotation and you can see this this canoe is a it's a sailing canoe so we do have a sail rig for it okay so there's the rudder cable steering okay and uh, then that's the back seat and then the dog sits in this center uh, cargo area we've got a thermorest mattress we put down for him to give him some insulation and uh, some comfort all right and there's the hand cart there okay so uh today we took the canoe from the trailer and we paddled out uh to a beach and we're having a little driftwood fire on the beach and we're gonna uh grill some kielbasa All right, so here we are. We're, this is uh, just a short paddle away from our uh, where we keep our trailer. 
and uh, everything's nice and quiet. This is actually Thanksgiving weekend, and we're swimming. The weather's beautiful. There's the canoe. The fire. Uh, in four and a half, five months, the uh, only problem we had with uh, wildlife was a skunk. And really that was my fault because I left the dog food out too late. Uh, I left it out till about 11 o'clock and the skunk came around. So then after that, I started putting the dog food away uh, around sunset. And then no more problems with the skunk. All right, so to answer the question, can you do seasonal camping in a pop-up tent trailer? Well, we did. Uh, we came here in June, a little bit of a late start because of COVID. And now it's uh, October the 11th, it's time to go. Uh, campground closes uh, today. So we made it the whole way. Uh, we weathered the same storms as the uh, hard-sided trailers do. And uh, we're on a hill uh, on a point on the St. Lawrence River so it's a windy stormy spot and we were never really uncomfortable uh, we were never cold uh, the trailer didn't suffer from the wind at all even a 22 year old trailer so uh, we uh, we were happy we we're happy doing uh, uh, seasonal camping uh, four and a half months almost five months in the pop-up trailer and we'll do it again okay Thanks. Bye. Time to drive home.